Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Wednesday. Okay guys, so, so much to talk about, so much to discuss. We have lots going on and we fully plan on just knocking this out of the park. We have Tom Schwartz, Jax Taylor, Vanderpump Rules and everything in between. So before we jump in, I do want to say welcome back. Welcome back to Channel 2 where we have all of the extra coverage, but also almost... Happy almost weekend. It's this big heritage classic thing this weekend here. It's like a big golf tournament. And I heard that it's a shit show, but I just went and got some clothes for it. Wait till you guys see these outfits. You're going to be like, girl, who are you? Anyways, pop off in the comment section, smash that like button, show some love. Let's jump right in. Like we do it. All right, guys. So we are back to talk about Tom Schwartz, his new girlfriend, and Katie. Well, thank you to Tom Schwartz, who appeared on Tuesday's Watch What Happens Live, where he answered a series of questions about his love life and more, while also commenting on Jax Taylor's separation from Britney and offering an update on his and Tom Sandoval's bar. Tom Schwartz revealed if he was in love with his ex-flame, Joe Winberg, shared who he made out with in Las Vegas, and confirmed whether or not his ex-wife, Katie, has met his new girlfriend, Sophia. Katie is aware of her, and she said something really sweet about her. I won't repeat it, but Katie was lovely about Sophia. Now Tom Schwartz was then met with a round of rapid-fire questions about his past romance with Joe, and after sharing that they met through Kristen Doty and revealing he was attracted to Joe's beauty and spunk, Tom Schwartz denied leading her on. I don't like that narrative. We had such a good time together, and it was a mutually beneficial, super fun relationship. Okay. Well, I don't know if it was a relationship, situationship. It was fun, and we had a good run while it lasted. As for her claim that they told one another, I love you, Tom Schwartz said that they were simply fond of each other. I think it was some sort of shade of love, but I don't think it was the real article. Now, as for Katie calling her spooky and saying that she has crackhead energy, Tom Schwartz labeled the diss egregious, insisting Joe's a darling. Although Joe has been accused of knowing about Sandoval's affair with Rachel since they went to Big Bear together, Tom Schwartz clarified she knew what they told her. As far as she was concerned, Tom and Ariana were breaking up. But because Tom Schwartz went public with Sophia after refusing to make things official with Joe, he was also met with the question about why he felt more comfortable with Sophia, who he's been dating for about five months. During that time, I just honestly, my life was so tumultuous and I just wanted to hide in my little hermitage. I had some minor PTSD and I just wasn't in any sort of place to be in a conventional relationship. Publicly, privately, I just was all kind of messed up. Now, another fan wanted to know why he confronted Katie about her hookup with Max Boyens rather than his BFF. And he said, I saw her first. When someone else asked if Sheena was the girl he admitted to Katie he meet out with in Las Vegas during a chat in the back alley at Sir on early, and, and this was in one of the early seasons of Interpump Rules, he said that was a different girl. I'm not proud of that either. It was one of Katie and Lala's friends from back in Utah. Now, as he sat alongside fellow guest Kristen, the two of them revealed that they'd never kissed, agreed that Ariana's life is better without Sandoval, and said that they didn't believe Jax and Brittany would get back together. Also on the live broadcast, after he confirmed Sandoval's recent apologies are from the heart, Tom Schwartz was asked if he felt Sandoval and Raquel were truly in love. There's a fine line between love and infatuation, but at one point in time, I heard it from both their mouths. They were in love. But later on, the Watch What Happens Live After show, Schwartz shared his opinion of Jax's new bar, Jax's Studio City, after a fan asked him how it compares to his own place, Schwartz and Sandy's. And he said, his is more of a sports bar. It's a sports bar slash cocktail lounge, and I'm honestly really, really proud of him. He's really stepped up, and he's a great host. It's a tough business. It's grueling. It's rough on your personal relationships. It's all-consuming, and he does a heck of a job. But as for how business is at Shorts and Sandy's a year after Scandival led to the boycotts and poor reviews, Tom Short said that they've seen a resurgence. We got new food coming in, new drinks, new music performances, DJs, new sound system. It's a renaissance. We have a synergy again, and we're communicating well, and everything feels shiny and brand new. All right. Well, 
Let's listen to him, the man himself. Here we go. Are you guys official? It's one of those things where we're almost, I just want to be in the, like, the most perfect place. I don't want to put pressure on her. We enjoy our time together. I can see it in your eyes that you, um, you're happy. I am happy. I'm so happy. When I saw her, it was like in those movies and everything just sort of stood still. You right now, I can tell. I don't know if you guys have used the L word. You have to try not to say it. You have to try not to say <laughs> it. I don't want to scare her. We definitely love each other. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Say, it, say it. Say it. I love you. <laughs> we love each other. We love each other. I love this for y'all. And I feel like we could double date. Yeah. Would love. Do you guys want to go to a double date? Yeah. Are you guys official? It's one of those things where we're almost, I just want to be. Okay, but wait, hold on. Not done. Have you seen the video of him at Jax's watching VPR with a microphone saying it was staged? I, yeah, I, 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 I reached out to him directly. I was like, why would you ever say that? You of all people know that nothing on our show's ever been staged, mm -hmm. but it felt like kind of vindictive or I don't know. Also, don't, isn't this? He, he apologized to me. He's like, I'm sorry, man. I was just, he's, he said he was triggered by something Sheena said. Even if it was true, which it's not. Um, I think that, yeah, it's one of the reasons the show's been so successful as it is because it's authentic, mm -hmm. organic. And um, my pain is your pleasure. I'll be on next week, and I'll tell you what, I'm scripted. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is disastrous. Don't get me wrong, when we started, it was awesome. Last season's one through six, organic. Now everybody starts to have money, and now it becomes big. Anything after six seasons is a wash. It's a fucking wash. <laughs> Nobody shows up to shit shit now if you're on the beach. In the beginning, this is our job. And this is what we love to do. This is when it goes too far. <laughs> now you have a real show. That's where it all started. It's organic. It's real. These are all brand new people. No cash money. We're all struggling. Here we go. Tom Swiss in Hawaii right now. This is his girlfriend. He's very happy. Okay, don't buy it. Don't buy it. Have you seen the video of him at Jax's watching VPR with a microphone saying it was staged? I, yeah. I... Okay. Um, Jax Taylor, you done fucked up once again because you are always opening your big fat mouth and that's okay. Honestly, he's given us the content. But yes, do I agree that that was a silly thing to say? Yes, I agree. And especially it's coming from Jax who it's like you're saying that the entire franchise of Vanderpump Rules is scripted, which the cast is saying it's not. It's not. There are producers who put you in situations you wouldn't have necessarily been put in, sure. But also, you're sitting there trying to pre-produce a moment at Guys Night with Kristen Doty's ex showing up while Luke is there. But also, you're trying to pre-produce another moment with Kristen Doty where you were bringing up all of these things, saying that she was whatever about her baby journey. Scripted, scripted, scripted. It's like, oh, sorry, my dog just looked at me like, bitch, shut up. Sorry. Anyways, pop off in the comment section, smash that like button, show some love. And if you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Love you guys. See you next time.